base case 046 TMEA state A2 number 3 2024 part 4. This is the last of the four part series on this uh, A2 number 3. Now don't tune out as I've said on the other three episodes because this is basically Joe Beam's How Insensitive but with jazz language that will make you sound good when you solo. For all staters, this is a tutorial, but you should keep these licks around. They work over other stuff, right? Over other changes. I've been loading these on my YouTube Bass Case channel so that you can see the fingerings in close up. Okay, so this episode, as I said, is the last one. It's going to focus on the last two lines of the A2, basically lines seven and eight, and licks nine, 10, and 11. Now, lick nine starts on line seven where the changes, the chord changes are C minor seven to F seven, just a nice two five in B flat major. That's what I'm gonna play too. It's just a nice, nice, nice friendly one position lick that you don't have to move your hand. It's a two bar lick that starts on the note B flat. It basically sketches out the chord. So here is that lick. There we go. A little bit slower. And it just sketching out C minor to F7. Okay. It starts with a descending C minor arpeggio that starts on the seventh, the B flat, and it outlines outlines C minor. And then the next end of it outlines B, a B minor arpeggio descending A F D B. And that's why it's important to practice arpeggios with your scales. They make nice melodic solo language. And the second half of that lick is merely F7 outlined, but not by arpeggio. But it all fits in one hand shape. And if you notice by the YouTube video, you don't have to shift. It makes everything easier. Okay? So the next lick, number 10, that's the second half of that line, and it's a B minor 7 flat 5 moving to an E7 alt, or maybe we call it E7 flat 9. It's a, basically a minor 2 5. And for the most part, I'm outlining E7 over the entire two bars. Let's listen to it. <laughs> So it's just, like I said, I'm just outlining E7, but as an inversion, meaning I'm starting on the third of E7, the G sharp, and I'm going up by arpeggio and coming down scale-wise. Again, a no-shift hand position makes everything nice and easy on the electric bass. You don't have to ship, shift or otherwise get out of position once you start the lick. And it resolves into the last line, that nice, friendly C note over the B-flat major chord sitting there, nine landing right into that. Okay, the last lick. And this is how I'm going to close out the etude. And, and this is how I, I want to close out a solo. And you want to close out your solo. You, want, you need a lick that makes it feel like I'm putting a period on the whole etude, like I'm putting a period on the solo I just played. I need a sense of finality to make it feel like it's over. And essentially what I have chord change-wise harmonically is just a 5 to 1, an A7 to D minor. Now this lick moves downward, right, descending. And it's starting on the C sharp and it's moving down to that low D. That's helping it give it that sense of finality. D being the root note of the key, right, D minor. So here is lick number 11. Mm, nice amount of syncopation in that lick. Just slowing it down a little bit. There you go. Yeah, right lands on that D. 
after your initial downbeat is played, it goes to up beats that take it to the downbeat of the next measure. That's that syncopation. There's really nothing going on there that's really that difficult. It's, again, another one-position lick. And then when it gets to the next measure, it just goes scalar, just walking down the scale in eighth notes with that quarter note triplet figure finishing it off with that D that resolves into the last measure. Again, another shiftless lick. You don't have to move your hand on the electric bass all the time. Okay, so that closes out base A2 number three for all state A2s 2024. I'll have some subsequent episodes on number one, which is a walking thing that I did not write, but I'll show you some walking lines on that. If you have any questions, email me at phil at basscase.co. I'll talk to you soon. Mm-hmm.